Hello, Cross-Cultural Art Project students. This is Heidi, your teacher, again. And since we've been talking about Zulu telephone wire basket weaving in South Africa, I wanted to show you a couple products that I bought when I was in Durban, South Africa um, this last summer and hung out with Tracy Collier, who started this Susana Craft project with Zulu artisans. Um, here is one plate. This is similar to the images that you saw in your lesson. This is actually one of their simpler designs, but it's pretty complicated. And I tried a smaller scale version of it, and it is very difficult to do. Um, if you can see, I'll try to hold it close enough. They start with um, a pretty substantial galvanized steel wire that they spiral around um, in a spiral fashion. And then they have the thin color-coded, the plastic-coded telephone wire, um, colored wires that they wrap around each spiral of the bigger, stiffer silver wire. So you can see it spiraled around and around. And then every so often, every few stitches, they make a bigger stitch that links two spirals together so that it holds the spiral together. Um, and then they keep interchanging the colors. So take one off, they'll cut it off with a wire cutter, and then start up with another color to create the pattern. And they make these big plates, um, but then sometimes the bowls that you saw in the lessons, they take the same plate, but they put it around a form, a bowl form, and then they hit it with a rubber mallet um, until it bends into shape. So, pretty malleable. This whole thing is wire, and you can see it's pretty much the same on both sides. Um, they did a really neat job. They twisted off each color wire when they were done with it, when they switched over to a different color, so they didn't leave any. Every now and then you can see a little bit of the end of a piece of wire, but for the most part it's really cleanly done. Um, now you can see my version of it. When I was there I just tried a little bit just to get a feel for it, so I was thinking I might make a coaster and then I never actually finished it. But you can see this is the thicker, stiffer wire that they use for the basic spiral form to hold it in place. And then these are all the smaller colored telephone wires, um, similar to the wires that you got in your package that I sent out. Um, so you can see close up here, um, the bigger silver wire keeps spiraling around. And they can see with this white telephone wire, um, they kind of wrap the telephone wire around three or four times, and then every every so often they make a bigger stitch and loop it around the next ring as well. And then every so often they switch up the color to create the pattern. So it's pretty complicated. Now you can see the back of mine is pretty messy. Um, this took quite a long time. I don't remember how many hours, but this took me quite a long time, and it was really difficult to get the spiral started. Um, and you end up hurting your finger a lot because it's a lot of wires. <laughs> kind of attacking your hand as you're trying to build this. Um, I actually did take off, I twisted off a lot of these wires to break them off, but you can still see there's a ton left over. So it's quite labor intensive. Um, I thought for your project we could do a different version of their telephone wire basket weaving. Um, I'll show you another product that I bought. I think this is gorgeous. This is um, Susanagraft is trying to use recycled materials more and more. So they have all these boxes of just glass wine bottles and other kinds of bottles that would have been recycling or garbage, and they've decided to create them into these beautiful vases. So they've taken the same color-coded, the plastic-coded telephone wire, um, and then they just completely cover the bottle with this pattern. And so they started on the bottom, and I'm, I'm guessing they probably taped all the ends together at the bottom so that they were secure. And then they started weaving all the way around the bottle up to the top and then twisted it off and then went back to the bottom and broke off all the ends so that it's nice and clean. Um, this way of doing the, the telephone wire weaving is much, much easier. It's simply twisting the wire as it goes around the form. And I'll show you my versions that are much less sophisticated. Um, here's a tiny little glass that I wanted to try it out on. Um, so I secured all the ends of the wire. It was actually very difficult to get started because the wire kept poffing, popping off of my glass form. But I secured the ends with tape onto the, um, the bottom of the cup. And then I started my weaving, just wrap, twisting my wires around each other as I went around. And the pattern just happened on its own. I didn't plan it out. It's just according to um, the arrangement of 
the order of the colored wires around the rim. So if I put two light blues, five navy blues, a few purples, and then lime green, it just created the striped pattern accordingly. So I didn't plan out a spiral, it just happened. Um, this would hurt actually to take a sip from. I don't think I'll actually use this glass because it's kind of broken the edges of wire on the edge. But here's one version. Um, another one, this is actually how they do it at Susana Crest. Um, here's a bowl that I'm basically done with that also kind of doubles as a hat, <laughs> some people say. Um, but they take a big steel wire rim. So this is kind of the basic form. They've just got all these rings lying around. And then they take a plastic mold, like this bowl. They drill a hole in, a couple of holes actually. They've got four holes. You can see this around the bottom. And then they secure, when they're ready to start weaving, they secure the ring to the plastic bowl and start weaving the wire in the spiral pattern around until I get to the top. Now, I haven't ripped off my wire yet, so I have to finish. I'm almost done with the base. I have to finish weaving that, and then I'll just either take a pliers or wire cutter and break it, or if you twist the wire enough, it just comes right off and you don't even need a tool. So that's kind of the last step. And then I would take off all of these wires and take off the bowl form, this plastic form, so I'd be left with just my telephone wire weaving of my bowl. So for your project, I thought you could do something much more scaled down, much simpler. Um, I'm going to have to show you. I'll show you another video real quick. I have a bracelet, actually, that was also made in South Africa with this Zulu telephone wire process. And this is it's something that you might consider. Um, I don't know how to pause this, so I'll start another video to show you that. But 